on YouTube. If this is your first time viewing me, welcome. Hi to all Chictopians. And I want to give a big thanks to Chictopia for collaborating with me. I would like to introduce all my subscribers and current viewers to Chictopia.com. They are an amazing online fashion community and I highly encourage you guys to check them out. Connie, the editor of their official blog, Everybody is Ugly, is going to be recreating my look today. So I'm so excited and I know she's going to do a great job. So give it up for her and this is just a little preview of the look that I'll be doing. It's a really bold smoky eye with a little bit of spring colors incorporated into the look and I hope you enjoy it. Stay tuned. I've already applied foundation and concealer prior to filming. Go ahead and just start with the eye makeup. I'm going to be applying Too Faced Shadow Insurance. This is an eye primer that will help prevent your shadows from creasing and fading throughout the day. I'm going to go ahead and just fill in my brows just a little bit using this e.l.f. eyebrow kit in dark. I am first applying the brow wax and then finishing it off with the powder. Next up, it can get a little messy, so pull out Q-tips if you need to, makeup remover if you need to. Sometimes disasters happen, it's okay. Um, it just happens. So what we're going to be doing is applying a really dark base all over the lid. And what I'm going to be using is Max Fluid Line in Black Track, and this is just a gel liner. I'm smoothing this over my lid with a synthetic concealer brush. So I'm just really lightly blending out the edges right now so that it's not too harsh. Also drag a little bit right underneath your lower lash line. Using NYX Shadow in Black. And I'm going to take this Essence of Beauty crease brush. So just pack on the color and then just blend out the edges a little bit. And once again with that same brush, sweep a little bit of that same black shadow right underneath your lower lash line. I'm going to be using this Revlon Matte Shadow in Tempting Teal. It's just a dark teal green color. I'm just applying the shadow right on the tip of the brush and then I'm going to place it right in my crease or socket line and just let the brush blend back and forth. So we're going to take this bright blue and this is Revlon's Matte Shadow in Venetian Blue and I'm going to take this Essence of Beauty smaller crease brush I'm just applying the blue shadow right at the edge of the teal green, overlapping a little bit, and then blending it out to your desired intensity. And if you want a reference point, this is pretty much in my socket area too, just a little bit above. So try not to go too far above your crease or your socket line. I'm now taking that same little small crease brush and applying the teal green right to the center lower lashes and then I'm taking the bright blue and applying it right to my inner corner. Now I'm going to take this cream off-white color. It's also matte. This is Revlon's Matte Shadow in Vintage Lace. And I'm going to take another large shadow brush. This is from e.l.f. eyeslovesface.com. Just use any kind of eyeshadow brush. And I'm going to apply this to my brow bone. Just sweep it right underneath your brow and then sweep it into the colors to blend it out and soften up the edges. I'm now taking this little mini detailed brush. You can also use a small eyeshadow brush and I'm going to be dipping it into that shimmery cream color and I'm going to apply it right under the arch of my brow just to give it some highlight up there and also applying it to the inner tear duct area right by my nose. I'm going to align it using that MAC Fluid Line and Black Track once again. I'm using a low Carnell paintbrush to line my waterline. This part is completely optional. Fake lashes are also optional, but I'll walk you through how I applied them real quick. Of course, you want to first curl your lashes. First, I'm going to snip the lashes in half, and I'm only going to apply half of it to the outer edge of my eye using lash grip glue. Apply it, let it set for about 30 seconds to a minute, and then apply it and press it down as close to your lash line as possible. Apply some waterproof mascara onto your top and bottom lashes. Okay, now we're going to work on the face, and I'm going to take this Jane blush in Blushing Earth here, and it's just like a pinky peach soft color. Now I'm going to contour my cheekbone, and I'm going to use this NYX blush in taupe, and I'm going to use that same brush. Apply this right underneath the hollow of your cheekbone. Alright, now last finishing step. Since our eyes are pretty intense, we're going to do nude lips to tone down our lips and it's also going to bring more attention towards the eyes. Applying Revlon lipstick in nude attitude and then I'm applying some Revlon Super Lustrous Gloss in Life's a Peach. 
So we've reached the end with this really smoky, bold look incorporating some spring colors. I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for viewing and tuning in Cheektopians. Thank you so much to Cheektopia for collaborating with me. Thank you to Connie for participating to recreate this look. Thank you to Clara. She's the one who kept in contact with me and you're such a sweetheart. Thank you. And thank you to all my viewers. So I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Stay tuned. Check out Cheektopia.com. Check me out here, Xtiner, on YouTube, and you all have a great one. Bye. My makeup brush kit. from Everybody's Ugly. Um, I have something a little unorthodox for you guys today. Um, well, a little bit of a backstory, I guess. Um, I'm really bad at makeup, if you guys couldn't tell, because I wear the same thing every day. It's like black eyeliner and um, bare minerals and chapstick. Sometimes lipstick if I'm feeling a little adventurous. Sorry, there's this guy in my window right now, and he's like, can you tell? Can you see? Recently, I've been watching all these YouTube videos about how to do your makeup, um, and one of my favorite um, producers is Xtiner, and she does a fabulous job, and I'm always in awe of how she does her makeup and stuff. And so we, here at Cheektopia, are lucky enough that she, um, I'm so sorry, I think he's going to die. He's going to fall. But no, she did a tutorial about how to do fierce spring makeup, and so, you know, I thought I would give it a try. Ready? Here we go. Obviously it's not as good as Xtiner's um, and the colors and the products are all different and I, I have no idea what I'm doing but it actually doesn't look half bad. This is, I didn't think I could wear heavy eye makeup but apparently I think I can so don't tell me what I can and can't do. So thanks again to Xtiner, um, your wonderful tips and do you hear that? So the guy outside, he didn't die, um, now he's just using a bus saw to cut down the rest of the tree. Good luck to everyone else who tries. Let me check this out. Good luck to everyone else who tries out her tips. Um, obviously, it works well. Bye.